This is tonight's Nine at Night. A lawsuit filed by prosecutors in the U.S. Virgin Islands is suing the estate of Jeffrey Epstein. The lawsuit alleges the multimillionaire sex offender used two private islands to engage in sex trafficking and abuse of underage girls for nearly two decades. The lawsuit also claims the victims were practically held in sexual servitude. San Antonio police also looking for a man who fired eight shots into a northwest side apartment. It happened at the High Point South Apartments on Wurzbach Road in the medical center. A neighbor was alerted about people arguing next door. He then saw the suspect being thrown out of the apartment. I tell the suspect, hey, I'm going to call the cops. That's when the guy said, well, you better well, I walk in. I hear shots, pop, 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 about six, seven, eight shots. It's unclear if any of the people inside the apartment were shot or what the argument might have been about. The witness says he saw the suspect run through the back of the building. No arrests have been made. Students returning to school in Los Angeles a day after a plane dumped thousands of gallons of fuel onto six schools. We did have a fuel drop here. We smell it. We have an unknown number of people exposed. The pilots were forced to release fuel to reduce the plane's weight before returning safely to the airport. 60 people, including students, teachers, and parents, were treated for minor eye and skin injuries. The homeowner was asleep in the back of her home when she woke up to a 50-foot, century-old red oak slamming onto her roof, ultimately those branches breaking the ceiling. The homeowner wasn't hurt and fire crews were able to get her out. The tree was on her next door neighbor's property. This tree that I've been fighting for the last 30 years trying to cut it down, it's not the way I wanted it to go, but as long as the lady next door, my neighbor Renee, she's safe. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and NASA scientists agree 2019 was Earth's second hottest year on record. 2016 still holds the top spot for all time high temps, but according to NOAA, the average temperature last year was 1.7 degrees Fahrenheit above the 20th century average. NOAA's climate data goes back 140 years. Here at home, flee and fight. That's what landed one man behind bars this morning. Police pulled the suspect over at Highway 90 and Couples Road this morning. They say while they were checking his information, he took off running. Officers learned he had a warrant out for his arrest and chased him about a block away where he was arrested. During the arrest, police say the man punched the officer. He's now facing additional charges of assault of an officer and evading and resisting arrest. The TSA says it found a record high number of guns at airport checkpoints across the U.S. in 2019. Officers found more than 4,400 guns in carry-on bags or on passengers. That's up 5% from 2018. Take a look at this drone video showing a town near the Taal volcano in the Philippines devastated by ash fall after it erupted. Buildings have collapsed under the weight of the ash and it's caused trees to droop. Talk about lucky timing. Two people barely make it into the street before half a building comes crashing down. Then just moments later, a fire truck rolls onto that scene. This happened today in Washington, D.C. The building was being renovated, but the exact cause of the collapse is still unknown. One person was hit by falling debris. No word on their injuries. To read more about these nine stories, head to ksap.com.